so we we have heard heard a very uh, good presentation about uh, sustainability as as and especially in 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 uh, urban environment both uh, Lux Turim and and uh, Mars uh, are practical cases where AI is used as an enable for sustainability. I will consider in this presentation uh, sustainability and AI maybe in bit broader broader perspective, and I will also try to. With some examples, tell how AI is used in practice to uh, enable su more sustainable uh, uh, future, more, more sustainable world. And also, I, tr I, I have chosen some examples from uh, FKI, Finnish Center for AI Research and Development work, which have really impacted or and start to impact the sustainability. As this UN uh, definition or uh, sustainable development goal uh, graph shows the sustainability is a very many-sided uh, uh, phenomenon. And as each of these aspects is complex by itself, uh, uh, it becomes even more complex when you think about the relationships and the interplay between uh, these different uh, facets of, of sustainability. And therefore, it's very hard or even impossible to, to kind of make models, uh, traditional mathematical or engineering or system engineering <coughs> uh, models or societal models, how these things uh, depend on each other. And if you tune something, let's say, in the energy sector, how does it impact traffic or or something like that so ai is is probably necessary artificial intelligence methods are, are necessary to to kind of optimize and and model simulate and 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 then control uh, these uh, different aspects of of, of uh, sustainability and I think that this this has been realized very well by European Union since it it directly links AI to the green transition, which is is one of the key goals of EU uh, during next five or seven years, and it's also uh, shown in their uh, research uh, agenda. But let's take a look at at some of the of these aspects and and uh, see what AI and then. Finnish Center for Artificial Intelligence are doing there. Let's first look at the energy sector. As, as we all know, energy sector is going through a major transition because everybody wants to have uh, green energy, no, no fossil, uh, or decrease the use of fossils and even, even in 10 or 20 years to get rid of fossil fuels in power production. And at the same time, there's a reluctance to, to go for nuclear power. So fortunately, uh, wind power and solar power are becoming very, very cost efficient. They are probably the cheapest way of producing electricity today already. But there are, there's one drawback with them. Uh, you don't get uh, sun in, in nighttime. You don't get sun in the wintertime in Finland. And the wind is also uh, uh, varying. So you need some kind of uh, mechanisms to, to cope with that. And, and, and there are such mechanisms. There is a demand response, so, so uh, the flexibility of, on the demand side. Uh, hydrogen can be used as, as a means to, to store energy. Uh, and then there are the cross-sectoral in, uh, interaction, for example, district heating and, and electricity power. Uh, generation but this makes as as i said with the previous slide this makes it even more complex and therefore we need ai to to cope cope with this situation so for example forecasting production forecasting consumption and and so on and uh, fki has done done already good research and and even re results which are in use for 
capacity forecasting for for FinGrid, how much power that power plants can produce and and how uh, planning tools of or models how to uh, uh, electricity is lost in transport in in high voltage lines and so on so ai already is is uh, doing a positive positive impact on on this area let's then look at uh, healthcare i think that the obvious things where ai is used is medical imaging of course uh, detecting ai detects uh, certain diseases can cancer cancer better than the experienced doctor already but it can also do much more ai based tools can can help uh, decision making in clinical situations they can help uh, and already help or are even necessary for pharmaceutical development uh, and and how to optimize the use of resources in healthcare for example planning in forehand where doctors or nurses are needed and so on and and indeed fki has has participated or contributed to many of these areas especially many medical image analysis pharmaceutical development uh, also very uh, timely is this uh, tool for predicting the effectiveness of vaccines in in certain populations and also resource resource planning tools for uh, for uh, uh, the whole the healthcare system uh, let's then look at uh, ai and atmospheric science and earth sciences so climate change is of course one of the big sustainability uh, challenges and in order to to uh, uh, kind of decide where the efforts should be put what are the most critical issues and what is going to happen in in future in five years in two or three decades we need a good uh, uh, models of the uh, both of the climate but also uh, kind of weather pr prediction models because the 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 extreme weather conditions may become more uh, often uh, because of climate change and also because of big cities uh, uh, put at, uh, at the, uh, close to the oceans and so on so fki research researchers at university of helsinki alto and vtt are seeking ways how to use ai to replace the the more traditional uh, straightforward or brute force uh, methods uh, uh, used in simulating uh, uh, atmospheric or or climate uh, uh, phenomena and machine learning the ml stands for machine learning is used to to kind of make the, the certain parts of the computation the, and the simu simulation uh, less computational intensive and uh, also ai helps to detect phenomena which are not kind of obvious even to the to the best researchers so so finding the underlying causal causal relations between uh, certain atmospheric processes and of course the the role of of uh, humans or, and economy in in this so what industry for example the emissions will cause and then i would look at ai and food uh, in finland uh, food is not a thing you you uh, think when you talk about sustainability but actually still in many parts of the world uh the the nutrition maybe not calories not, not so more much but even calories but especially uh, good quality nutritional few food is an issue and another kind of uh, contradiction or 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 difficulty here is that the more you uh, 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 cut forests for fields or or uh, uh, 
pasture land for for uh, cows or 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 what uh, other animals or the more you you get uh, fish fish for food from water from uh, from from oceans uh, the the worse it makes for the nature uh, nature and we think that ai can pay, play a role also here it could solve and it can solve challenges by for example enabling the concept food without fields it means means that like like we get if you think about let's say beer it's made in in these huge tanks it's breweries of course it's based on on uh, barley but but still the production is in these tanks and the future holds a pot possibility and it's even a likely possibility that big parts of, of uh, food ingredients, the basic uh, ingredients will be produced by, by bacteria or, or yeast or some kind of uh, bioengineered products or things in these kind of tanks. And, and uh, this will free fields and, and put less burden on oceans. So a AI is needed very much in, in this kind of biotechnological uh, development and, of course, control of those, those systems. Also, uh, AI can be used, for example, to, to breed better uh, crop varieties, for example, uh, different kind of plants. And actually, uh, uh, there is a startup uh, yield systems uh, from from uh, uh, FKI from Alto, who who are developing this kind of uh, technology for better better uh, yields. Then uh, finally, I would I would like to invite you to cooperate. If if you have kind of visions or business ambitions uh, in the area of sustainability, where AI optimization, simulation, modeling methods could be uh, useful or essential to your plan. So FKI invites you to cooperate with us and, and, uh, and we are open, open to your, your suggestions. So me, Terhi and Pekka are maybe the first contacts or you can find a suitable uh, partner also in FKI pages, maybe directly some professor or group there. And I would also highlight that uh, EU and national funding is available for circular economy, green energy, different kind of fields of, of sustainable uh, uh, industry, sustainable business, and and AI is is. Let's say it's not the core of it, but it's the necessary enabler in many many cases. So we are we are open and and would welcome welcome any any suggestions by by you guys. Thank you. I I will end my presentation here.